kilometres of road on the property, I'm cycling down what has got to be the longest driveway ever, heading down the mountain path in search of an Australian native nut. Actually, make that thousands of Australian native nuts. Macadamias evolved more than 60 million years ago in Australian subtropical conditions. So it's only fitting I should find them here, in the middle of this rainforest. My name is David Flinter. I have a business, Hand and Home Organic Macadamias, and we live in the Kipax Valley, which backs into the Kilabark National Parks. I've been living here uh, since 1979. I moved here from Sydney when I was 19. Um, I had an opportunity to pursue a sustainable permaculture lifestyle. At the time, the affordability of the properties like this were not being recognised, so I had a chance to get my foot in the door. When I first came to the property, the challenges were probably adjusting to the isolation, the social loss. So, what was here? Uh, it was virgin bush. There was no one here previous to us. It was all timbered, so it was a great opportunity to start with a blank canvas, uh, living in a tent. <laughs> As uh, you do? For uh, probably three years. Three years in a yeah, tent? Three years. And, um, in the middle of a rainforest? That's right. So <laughs> the reality of having uh, a, a baby, to have a roof over our head was critical. The pioneer That's like shed. a pioneer yeah. shed, so, isn't it? So There's no electricity? No electricity. And there are gaps. There's gaps, yep. There's there no, gaps, no insulation. So it's ventilation, we call it. Ventilation, ventilation. How yeah. comforting. <laughs> <laughs> so the, it's a pole dwelling and the joists, the bearers, everything is, you know, uh, from the property. Yeah. Um, well, credit to you that you weren't overwhelmed. Well, no, it wasn't. It was an adventure. Right. And I was young enough to be able to deal with it. And I think it might be a different story. <laughs> How lucky did it end now, when you were 19? Yeah, yeah, very much so. <laughs> My mother wasn't very impressed with me with my decision to move to the area. I think she was hoping that I was going to follow a normal North Shore lifestyle of uh, being a doctor or solicitor, but um, unfortunately that didn't suit my agenda. Now she's very proud of what we're doing. I have four children. Uh, two of my boys are still very heavily involved with the, with the business. Kieran is uh, the rock as far as working the orchard and with the physical side and my other son Tristan he's very much more focused on the management and the marketing and uh, you know that seems to be his forte. As far as farming influences go previously there was was none so I had no idea about uh, you know, how to grow macadamias I actually had no idea how to grow any sort of uh, fruit trees but I always had the intention of sustainable farming and I always knew that I would uh, venture into some sort of option as far as an orchard goes. I chose to grow macadamias because I trialled a number of different trees. From those trials, from kiwi fruit to stone fruit to citrus to the macadamias, the environment accommodated the macadamias probably more than any of the other ones for the impacts that they have. Um, being a, an organic farmer is lots of challenges. Literature is mostly revolving around conventional farming, so there wasn't a great deal I could learn through those avenues. We were more southern than any other grower that we were aware of at the time. So the journey was a lot longer for us because we had to plant the trees and see how they were performing and then focus on establishing with the trees that we felt were the most suitable for us. It takes a while to learn those mistakes and recover from them. Um, so at the end of the day, I think it was just um, trial and error that has got us to where we are now. From planting the tree and protecting the tree and the fertilizing regime regularly twice a year, probably takes 10 years before they can become commercially viable for us. So it's a long-term establishment. This is our certified organic um, chicken manure, slow release fertilizer that we use for our macadamia trees. Mm, it's got lovely whiff. Yes, yeah, definitely, you know, something which you get accustomed to. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to. <laughs> yes. So when the macadamia trees flower, which is generally in springtime, the nuts will set for over four to six weeks 
and then they will develop over the summer. In autumn, around about April, we will, we will harvest. So it's an annual crop. We will get the, the, above the macadamias and we will just bring the nuts down right. to the ground oh, that's just between our fingers like this. A lot of the workers will use a, wear a long sleeve as well because of the uh, spikes on the, on the actual leaves as well. As far as the number of trees that we have on the farm would be close to 4,000. This year our uh, harvest probably would have been just over 10 tonnes. It's probably our best year we've had. We still have a long way to go because a lot of our trees are still not producing nuts yet. Uh, the benefits financially will be more rewarding for the next generation probably. Yeah. But we are benefiting, I am benefiting. I hope I've got a couple more years left in me. <laughs> And, um, I hope so, I hope so I hope too. So. I hope. We will present our macadamias as a raw kernel, a raw and a roasted macadamia spread, a honey roasted macadamia, do a salted and roasted macadamia, and we do chocolate coated macadamias. All the products are certified organic to complement the fact that we are. As far as what's a good macadamia nut is a lot to do with the size of the nut but um, at the end of the day I think it really comes down to the actual flavour and crispness. So I've been just slipping a few in on the side. They're very white and creamy, these nuts. And we're diversifying a little bit by putting in some we grow organic garlic and we also are now doing trials with um, organic turmeric and apart from that uh, we also do some market garden vegetables, potatoes uh, and just general vegetables which I grow for my own use as well. We sell our products through markets, that's how we established ourselves and uh, probably 16 to 18 markets a month so there's lots of travelling involved. Through the attendance of markets we've been able to introduce ourselves to retail outlets and we're probably supplying over 200 retail shops around Australia now. As far as introducing um, online shopping with our website has definitely had an increase in sale. The growth of uh, farmers markets has absolutely blossomed. People are very keen to be able to buy direct from a farmer wanting to know more and more the integrity of the product and where their products are from. With growing macadamias it's been a lot more of a challenge than I was expecting. It's been a longer journey than I was expecting but you know it's been it's fantastic to me the learning and the journey is just as important as the outcome. I'm really pleased that the the legacy of what we what we've been able to achieve to this stage is come to fruition. Initially when I first came here there was uncertainty whether or not sustainable farming was going to be able to be achieved. I think initially when I first came here there was a lot of scepticism about my journey or my path I was leading. So to be able to actually have a product which is you know, being successful is very rewarding. It was really hard, it was very challenging, you know, initially starting with something like this because we didn't know whether it was going to work or not. The future for the farm is hopefully to uh, have a slow progression, to become more productive as the trees evolve, to be able to improve, you know, the quality of the product, uh, you know, as we learn more. Nutritionally, macadamias, um, as far as I'm aware, are the best nuts in the world. I feel like this is going to give me all the vitamins I need for a month. Well, you know, it doesn't get much better than this. I love the fact that I it actually haven't your... done a single thing to make any of this. It's fantastic. It's delicious. I can taste every flavour. Mm. Sometimes the simple things in life are the best. Australia produces more than 30% of the global crop of macadamias. 60% of our total harvest is exported to more than 40 countries. Pretty good stats for a nut that's on the up and up. But if you think that I'm going to ride all the way back up that mountain, you're nuts.